welcome to the art food club for this episode i'm going to paint a bowl of ramen using paint in windows 10 unfortunately my photoshop crashed and i think it's corrupted so well i cannot use it yet i decided to use paint as in ms paint the one you can find installed and included in all microsoft windows versions honestly the last ms paint that i used is on Windows XP. Let's have a quick review. Here's the interface. I mean our workspace. It's almost the same thing. Nothing much has changed. Just these panels here containing the tools which you can only access in the sub minutes before and they also have more shapes to work with. So I think this is pretty much workable the only thing we don't have is the layering but it's not really necessary so let's get started to make the bowl we will use the ellipsis tool to make two ovals one for the mouth and one for the base Then we use the curved line tool to draw the sides. Another oval for the thickness here at the mouth. And then we erase unwanted lines. We have a bowl of course you can choose any color but for me I'll use a shade of cream or beige um, we will make the mouth a bit lighter to create volume And now the soup should follow the shape of the bowl, so we are going to make another oval. The color of the soup should be analogous or related with the color of the ingredients. And then we add some orange here that will tell the flavor. Doodling of orange and now we add some sliced meat okay to draw I start with the skin to determine the shape As you see, I more often start painting the dark color first, then I go lighter and lighter from the shadings or natural shadow, then the mid-tone, and last is the highlight. By the way, in an object, there are two types of shadows, the natural shadow and the cast shadow. You can apply this technique even when painting using acrylic. I noticed the color of the soup is too yellowy, so I adjusted it a little bit. Okay. 
I want my ramen noodles a bit thin. Then carrot strips. One of the things that fascinates me about ramen is the nori seaweed resting or rather standing at the side and for me it adds character to this noodle dish it also adds color and flavor so we won't miss the joy Okay, some textures here. And then bean sprouts, a few off-white lines and a light green at one end of each line will do it. And then we add some spring onions. I made small ovals with different shades of green. Then a Naruto, a fish surimi or meat paste, popular in Japan. The red spiral line in the slice of Naruto is meant to resemble the Naruto whirlpools in the Naruto Strait between Awaji Island and Shikoku, Japan. It's actually a popular site. You can even find them in Okiowe prints of Hokusai and Hiroshige. More noodles at the background. Then a hard boiled egg. Where the brush never followed my hand. As you see, I don't really use white. I at least want the shade because I'm reserving it for the highlight. Then we add some wakame seaweed. So, let's put highlights and shadows at the suit.
ingredients. I know nori is a matte ingredient but I still put highlight anyway because it adds beauty to our artwork. Corn kernels here because it adds color too. So the color of the bowl appeared too light now so we are going to darken it. The main factor in creating volume is putting highlights and shadows and here even if our source of light is on top we can still put some highlights here at the sides because our bowl is shiny and the light on the table or its surroundings can be reflected on it. So guys, you can use some reference to check on the highlights and shadows of a bowl or you can just use your imagination. Using related colors or analogous colors inside of the soup that touches the bowl, I tried to create gradation for bouncing light effect. And now some refinement. So, having this problem with my photoshop, I thought it's the end for me, but I got an enlightenment when I realized that I created this channel to teach and share my knowledge to digital art beginners or to those who want to learn digital painting with using only the basics, which is a regular brush, and even if the only app you have is as simple as paint or just your simple drawing apps in your smartphone so there's no need for me to worry about or sad about or there's no excuse not to be able to create digital art even if i don't have an advanced software to use at the moment actually long before i learned to use photoshop whenever i need to make a dig digital drawing it has always been pain
additional retailing to finalize our drawing. So there you have it, a bowl of ramen. Thank you for watching patiently. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. And if you want more of this, please subscribe. You can grab this image for free in my Instagram account. And you can also download the HD copy on my Shutterstock. Um, link in the description below. That's it. Bye-bye.